Alrighty, hello and good luck to Sora, Sorhain. I'd like to play first. Normally I might want to draw with this kind of deck. But since I can be somewhat more aggressive, I'm not going to mull my child into my gnawing zombie. Since I can be a little bit more aggressive, I will uh, play. And this hand is fine. I've got two creatures and five lands. I can get my Sangir Vampire out. I'd like to have had a Quag Sickness or something of the sort since I'm heavy black, but sometimes, you know, can't always get what you want. Let's lead with the black and go. Let's go. Alright, off to the uh, races. We will be off to the races. Unless my opponent plays like a Colonia Tusker, in which case that would make me sad. Elvish Mystic would also make me sad here. But no, no one drop. Um, Deadly Recluse. Yeah, that's fine. I'll trade a Child of Night for a Recluse. Or a Recluse. Nope. Okay. I guess the jig is up, though. Kind of see where I'm going with this. Advocate of the Beast. Okay. Oh. Fine then. Well, into a four. So not not quite as exciting. Uh, I'm just gonna have to hold back and uh, wait till I can drop my pitch burn devil, and then uh, go from there. Hopefully there's not a big scary beastie type thing that my opponent's going to be able to play. I did see uh, the Rumbling Bayloth. Rumbling Bayloth plus Advocate of the Beast is kind of scary, and by kind of I mean incredibly. Uh, hopefully it's not something my opponent has. Nope. Okay, no 4 drop from my opponent's pretty sweet. Double Gnawing Zombie, on the other hand, is also pretty sweet. But I have a Pitchburn Devil. I did throw that right into an Essence Scatter, but sure, if my opponent has an Essence Scatter, that's fine. I'd rather Essence Scatter Pitch Burn Devils than a not Pitch Burn Devils. Oh, Domestication. Ooh. Okay, this is the person who got the Domestication. Okay. That's fair. That's fine. Too bad I couldn't have gnawing zombied it. But, tis the things that happen when you... Play the way that I play. Uh, these, mm, I was going to say they bounce off of each other forever, but they kind of don't. Um, well, I'll be able to block sack my opponent and drain my opponent, for one. It's kind of what's going to have to happen. Yeah, begin combat. Attack with the Pitchburn Devils. Okay. Blocks happen. Select a target. Sack a creature. Sacrifice a creature. Yep. Cool. So I gain one, my opponent loses one, and we're back to the game. I don't want to keep drawing these lands, though. I guess I kind of have to. I mean, I'm gonna have to draw these kind of things eventually. Is is what my opponent's telling me. Then again, that's the kind of thing I could have double blocked the Pitchburn Devils. It would have probably hit my face at that point. I'll take three here because why not take three? Oh, Predatory Sliver. Okay. Eventually I'm going to draw something, like an Accursed Spirit, and that's going to be sweet. One, two, there we go, Accursed Spirit. Start getting in for a bunch of damage. And leave up the, the two so I can sack it, just in case I have to. Um, Gnawing Zombie blocks Predatory Sliver for days. Claustrophobia. Okay. I can sack it at any time I need it to be sacked. To get some value. Okay, I'm gonna get hit for three here. Unfortunately. Yep. 
And step, do you have a way to get rid of the claustrophobia? I do not. So, select a target. Yep, sorry, cursed spirit. But I gain a life and my opponent loses a life, so yay. These are things. Act of treason. Well, let's act of treason my own pitchburn devils. That's fine. I will play this game. And then kill off an advocate of the beast. Or something. That hey. This pitchburn devil is gonna do a lot of work for my opponent. So I might as well start to start the killing. Let's go. Alright, opponent's in the tank. My opponent's no longer in the tank. Okay. Pass turn. Let's attack with said pitchburn devil. And let's see what happens with blocks. Nothing? Okay, my opponent's going to take three. Let's main phase, select a target, my opponent, sack a creature. Pitchburn Devils killing what? I could kill this Advocate of the Beast, or I can deal three to my opponent's face. Let's take out a creature, because I don't like my opponent having creatures. Okay. Play land and go. Also got rid of my opponent's domestication, which yay! Oh, another advocate of the beast. Okay. Well, if my opponent's gonna have him. My opponent's gonna have him, I guess. All right. Ooh, a vile rebirth. Uh, instant speed blocker. That seems cool that I can sack to something. Yeah. So gnawing zombie, I can do one, two, three, four to my opponent. One, two, I mean not a turn. Yeah, begin combat. Let's declare attacks. Nothing. Let's exile the, an undead minotaur. Two, two, black zombie. Okay. Yep, yeah, pass turn, go. Dragon Egg. Let's play me a Dragon Egg. And um, eventually I'm going to have a Fire Breathing Flyer. This Advocate of the Beast is super unfortunate because it's going to start being able to... It's, it can block everything. It can block and kill everything. Uh, what's going to happen though is my Dragon Egg is going to get sacked. Four. Select the target, sack the dragon egg, I get a dragon. Yay, dragons! I love dragons. And let's attack with the the reach guy. Sure my opponent's probably gonna block it with a deadly recluse, but a disperse. Silly opponent. No, pass the turn and go. Silly opponent, I'm just draining you. But that's fine. My opponent's going to use Disperse. My opponent's going to use Disperse. Nope. Alright. Pass the turn go. Young Pyromancer. Well, that was the thing that I would have liked to have had. But, um... I, do I just throw it out there now? I don't think so. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily. There's no sense in playing it out because I'd rather play it out with something, with some sort of spell backup, so that I could at least get some value of it if my opponent decides to do something. But then again, I, I don't know. I, don't know, I might as well, right? There's no harm if my opponent counters it. My opponent counters it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna start doing some things, things and stuff. Train Condor is gonna pick up something eventually which is unfortunate for me but Chandra's Outrage 
is not unfortunate for me because I can deal four damage to something. Three. Four. Chandra's Outrage is Advocate of the Beast. I get a thing. Oh, Disperse it. Okay. I still get an Elemental. Yes. And I still have pretty sweet attacks. An attack with Child of Night and the Zombie. And then what? I trade off with whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. All right. Advocate of the Beast. Let's just see it. Yep, swing for two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yep, Advocate of the Beast. And follow up play. Nope. Well, I mean, I just need to be drawing non lands cards at this point. Which would be great. Non lands would be great. Because that's all I need. I just need non land cards. Mm, yep, flying, flying thing. Okay. Yep. Colonia Tusker. Okay. Well, that's a that's a big thing. It's gonna start having flying. No, no need. Undo. Undo. There's no need to sack it now, because I can always sack it later. Death Gaze Cockatrice is awesome, because it will kill the Colonian Tusker. Three, four. Death Gaze Cockatrice. Halo. Yep, and pass the turn. Here we go. Yay, Death Touch is awesome. Okay, someone else won another tournament, but I unfortunately didn't get that far in. But, well, my opponent's drawn all of the lands, as have I, so maybe we can start playing some magic. What do we got? 8, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have 10 as well, just haven't played them all. Disperse. Meow. 3, triple disperse deck. Okay. Well, you know, that's a thing. Opponent's gonna have to think, can it survive the crackback? So gonna get hit for four, five, six, putting me down to thirteen. Yeah, not much I can do in the way of blockers. Select a target, sack this elemental, gain some life back. Yep. And death gaze cockatrice, yet again. And if my opponent keeps playing these disperses, then well, my opponent keeps playing disperses. I guess playing out lands isn't all that bad because then I can do multiple of these sacks a turn. Uh, Death Gaze Cockatrice is definitely jumping in front of a Colonian Tusker because that eventually is not going to be sustainable on my part. My gaining one a turn isn't going to be able to do all too, too much. I just need to draw another instant or sorcery, which I don't have many of. Um, oh, actually, Ring Flesh kills Train Condor, which is sweet, plus it gives me another elemental. Um, what else do I have? Active Treason already used, Vile Rebirth used, Challenges Outrage used. Yeah, maybe just even creatures are fine, because I can play them and then sacrifice them. Because I'm at, my opponent's at 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
I need two more creatures to even be able to, and that's assuming I don't trade, to even be able to get my opponent down to dead. Uh, and I can't block a bunch of this a turn. Yep, you can combat. Just attack with the trained condor, that's fine. Yep. Okay. Flying. Yep, I will take two, gladly. Pass the turn and just wait for your other disperse. Ragathan Firecat. So, if I take next turn, am I going to take eight? If I attack for two in the air, it puts my opponent at five. I have one, one, okay, one, two, three, four, five sacks. So, I mean, could I go for the win or do I play slightly more conservative? I think I play slightly more conservative. Leave back Death Gaze Cockatrice. Play out Ragathan Firecat. And get to the point where I just keep sacking things. That's 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 the game that I'm playing. I have reach, whereas my opponent has to start getting rid of things in order to have this very same reach. Seems fine to me. But I'm at the point where I just start sacrificing a thing a turn. Okay. Yep, hit me for two. That's fine. Yep, down to ten. And step creature, select a target, sack a creature, sack my zombie. Yep, okay. Another Death Gaze Cockatrice. This is a point where if I swing in with everything, let's swing in with this Death Gaze Cockatrice, deal two, and then play another Death Gaze Cockatrice. Okay. Ooh, Essence Scatter. That was unfortunate. I totally forgot about that kind of play. I'm going to get hit for 7, 8, 9. Hmm. Okay. Well, well darn. Silly Michael. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> uh, that was a, a misplay on my part. I should have just kept being conservative and playing out the game as I should have played it out. Then again, if my opponent should realize if trying to go all in here, I attack with everything, if I hit with anything and then sack, uh, my opponent's dead. Yep, hit for two. Okay. 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 And step. Select the target. Sacrifice the tag. Ragathan Firecat. I'm going to get hit for 10 next turn. Okay. Yeah. I have to... A Doom Blade. Doom Blade is something I can draw into. Forgot about that. Yep. Okay, flying. Okay. Sacrifice a creature. Declare blocks. Get hit for ten, down to one. Yep. So drawn to Doomblade. Or Bubbling Cauldron. Does that do anything for me? No, it doesn't really even do anything for me. Because I get hit for eleven next turn. Yeah, no, concede. That was silly on my part. Well, did draw all the lands into a Festering Newt, and that was a kind of bad play on my part. Uh, but we learned from these things. I shouldn't have been so greedy. I should have just waited out the game like I was going to intend to do. 
But nonetheless, maybe next time I just don't draw as many lands. That would be fine with me if I didn't draw as many lands. In my deck, I mean, I could even conceivably go down to 16 lands because my deck can easily operate off less. And what does that get me? It gets me uh, another Vile Rebirth, maybe. Yeah, let's go down to 16 because I do have so many 2-drops and a Vile Rebirth. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see what that ends up getting me. And like I said, another Vile Rebirth because I'm going to be sacrificing things. Uh, no, I do not wish to mulligan. This hand is awesome. Um, because I, I'm i going to want to be sacrificing things, and I get this slight benefit of, out of, say, like Young Pyromancer. Yep. Can you deal with a super aggressive start? Well, let's attack with the Child of Night, see if my opponent trades. Nope. No tradesies? Okay. Ragath and Firecat, though. Is that where you want to be? Because Festering Newt is just... Ugh. Okay. Oh, well. It's not quite as fun when these things happen. Um... Well, Goblin Shortcutter. That happens. That can't block. Okay. And let's Ragath and Firecat. Yep, snap block. That's fine. I'll gladly trade my Ragath and Firecat for a Predatory Sliver that pumps the other Predatory Sliver and everything else that my opponent decides to play. Hmm. There's no Aether Eyes. What could my opponent have? I don't know. But let's see. Nephalia Sea Kite. That's a thing. It's a 2 3. Frost Breath. Okay. Because I was going to say, if it is an Ophalia Sea Kite, I sack the Festering Newt to do the minus one, minus one. It, what, it kills one of these, but these also end up trading with it. Okay. Mm, no undo. Let's leave up Shock Mana, even though I don't have it, unfortunately. And Festering Go. Man, they don't untap. Air Servant. That's scary. Ooh, Dragon Egg, though. That I can... Ah, use my thing to sack and all sorts of fun things. Um, okay, let's attack with my undead Minotaur. No, nope. you decide you want to take two? Okay. Take two, my friend, take two. Nope, no attacks, no blocks. Fine, that being a land. Um, well, let's attack, attack, attack. Yep, trade, trade. I'll gladly have my opponent waste his or her pump spell for this to be able to save the the air servant from the undead minotaur thing. That's more than fine with me. And these trade my opponent wants to use pump spell to save this here. More than fine with me as well. Because pump spell is going to end up getting oh just. Um. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Yep. Give myself a dragon. Okay, sure, tap it down. That's fine. Start attacking. More than fine with me. Divination? Okay. Air Servant's gonna end up dying because Pitchburn Devil's gonna come down and get sacked to Gnawing Zombie. And my Dragon Elemental's gonna start attacking. Alternatively, I attack with Dragon Elemental. Tap, tap. Or uh, bump it twice to kill Air Servant. Sure, if a disperse happens, then a disperse happens. But I still have the Undead Minotaur follow up. And then I can. Alternatively, I can just sack it. Yep. Oh, Death Gaze Cactus. Okay, let's go to combat. Let's see if my opponent taps. Yep, that's fine. That's something I do not mind happening. Okay. And combat. Four, five. Pitch burn devils. Something I do have to watch out for is domestication, so is this does leave me open to a domestication hit on the pitch burn devil. Which hey, if that happens, then it happens. We've got Death Gaze Cockatrice coming around. And next turn, Pitchburn Devils is just getting sacked. To no attacks or... Well, no, I'll attack with it. Um, but it's just going to get sacked to the gnawing zombie and kill this air serpent. Oh, poor air serpent. Again. Is that its eyes? Because those are disgusting looking. I don't know. Okay, you can combat. Should hit me for four, yep. Very good. Because you know it's going to die. Colonian Tusker? Okay. Train Condor? Oh, well, dear. More things. Um, Disperse Potential is up. Okay, can't tap. Uh, okay, okay. And Vile Rebirth. So here I attack with the dragon and the pitchburn devils. Okay. Declare attacks. I'd gladly have my opponent block pitchburn devils with Colonial Tusker. They would trade, and the air elemental is going to die. I can pump once and then do two two bumps, or I can pump once, bump, bump, or I can not, I can sack two sacks and a vile rebirth. Disperse. <sighs> okay, well. A sacrifice has to happen. Select a target. Okay. And declare blocks. You're gonna let me hit for three. Seems dangerous. But okay. And I just leave my sacking mana open. Because at any time I can kill any of these things. Granted, now my opponent untapped and does have, like, say, disperse potential. Okay. Sure, you can pick that up. I get hit for six. Declare blocks, not much I can do. Deadly Recluse. Okay. And step. Vile Rebirth. Um, dragon Egg. I've got a zombie. I've got a zombie. I've got a zombie. I've got a zombie. Hey, 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 hey. Swing in with the Pitchburn Devils. And here we go. Yep. Deadly Recluse. They trade. Okay. 
Okay. Death gaze cockatrice. Last turn, go. Well, my pitch burn devils traded with a thing. What thing did it trade with? Okay. Yep, hit for four. Last turn and go. Undead Minotaur. I can play out an undead minotaur and start sacking things. Okay. Death Gaze Cockatrice is tapped. Pass turn and go. Well, let's just start sacking stuff. Because why not? That's fun. I might as well. Yep. No blockers to declare. Get hit for four. Down to nine. Go back up to ten. See Coast Drake. Sorry, Goblin Short Cutter. You're dead. Fast turn. Go. Young Pyromancer. One card in hand. Okay. Yep. Tap that. Alright, let's pass the turn and go. By attack, attack, attack. It just blocks happens and stupid trades. That eats that. Undead Minotaur gets eaten by Colonia Tusker, zombie trades with, or just bounces off the Seacomb Coast Drake thing. Doesn't even matter. So, up, get hit for four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, potentially. Get hit for ten, plus any pump spell means I'm dead. My opponent attacks with everything. Nope. Yep, no blocks. Cool, end step. Use up my manas. And here we go. Another mountain. So let's play it. So tapped and just block 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 does not much at all so with the three flyers I'll get hit for four five six seven eight nine ten in the air if I can do three sacks it puts me at ten well this is an unfortunate place to be in because I'm just dead on board. Hopefully my opponent doesn't see it. Well, yeah. Hopefully my opponent kind of respects the Doomblade or the, the Chandra's Outrage because otherwise I'm just dead on board. An all-out attack means dead, dead, dead. Like I said, hopefully my opponent doesn't see it. Maybe killing the Air Servant when I could have was the proper play. Probably was. Don't attack with it. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Plus a pump. Why would you not attack with that? Because it puts you at lethal. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can sack three things. Okay, declare blocks. Sack the death gaze.
uh, uh, select the target, sacrifice the Minotaur. Sack the nine one. Okay. Yeah, one. That was I was dead on board. Uh, sure, sack itself. Okay. There we go. Whew! I guess persistence gets you there? I don't know, because if my opponent would have attacked, I would have just been dead. But nonetheless, here we go, game three. Let's tighten up our play a little bit because, shoot, we're going to have to. Uh, my opponent's probably going to choose to be on the play this time. Um, I have the kind of lands that I want. This is fine. I can get up to five. I'm saying I just run this back and hopefully it ends up working out. That's where I'm at. Let's do it. Swamp, swamp. Two vile rebirths. Nope, this is a mall. Yes, I would like to. This is a fine enough hand. No, I do not wish to multiply. Yep. And we are off to the races. Okay, Deadly Recluse, sure. Start off with my Child of Night, because... Although I won't trade that with a Deadly Recluse, I'll trade it with something else. Yep, sure, hit me for one. Your other creature, Colonia Tusker. Okay, well, I didn't know this at the time. Young Pyromancer. Okay. I will take Colonia Tusker hits. It's fine. Yep. Ooh, Divination. Okay. All right, let's play this game. Perfect. All right. Especially because my Cursed Spirit's going to be able to get me back into the game. And my opponent missed a land drop, it seems. Yeah. All right, so this is where i got to start taking advantage. Uh, it doesn't have domestication mana up, which is great. Could come here. Oh, Advocate of the Beast. Okay, that's starting to get a little scary. But. Um, ring Flesh. I'll say oops. Yep. Another land and go. Sure, now my, the Colonial Tusker is a 4 4, but uh, Elemental jumps in front of it. I have Sangir Vampire to in the skies. Yep, I will take 4. Because eventually my Elemental will be able to jump in front of that. Domestication. Ouch. Pitchburn Devils, though. Sing your vampire, play a swamp, and attack with the pyromancer. Because this elemental is going to jump in front of the colonia tusker and sing your vampire. Claustrophobia. Ouch. Alright. Let's start getting some sack outlets out there. Because this is unfortunate. Okay, and land was not what I was looking for, but land is what I'll have to take. You know, Pyromancer, hit for two, maybe? Cool. Pitch burn devils. Let's go. Oh, disperse, okay. Get hit for seven here, puts me at just about dead. 
Yeah, well, the Valiant effort, unfortunately, it came to, yep, came to this. Draw? Yeah, I wasn't drawn out of this anytime soon. Well, Mike with the Mana Bluff, another attempt at Black Red Sacrifice. Didn't quite work out as well. Had some of the pieces, didn't have quite all of them. But thanks for watching. See you next time.